What's good, y'all? This is Bossy, and here today we're here with another, another, another fire SCP reaction video today. The title of this video is called Exploring the SCP Foundation, SCP-00 number uno. Uh, there isn't much, there isn't much to say, bro. Let's, without further ado, let's just jump right into it, bro. But first, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get a notification when I post my next video. Without further ado, let's get right into it, bro. SCP-001. Let's get it. The SCP Foundation okay. contains thousands of anomalous creatures, objects, and phenomena. And this list of SCPs, of course, starts with number one. Newcomers to the site will be perhaps surprised to find that there is no single SCP-001, but instead there are currently over two dozen proposals outlined for the slot. The reason for this structure within the universe what? is so that no one outside of the O5 Council know which of the proposals is the true SCP-001 for the sake of security. The reason for this out of the universe is because having the 001 slot was considered special, and it was reserved okay. for something worthy of the slot. The proposals were then first submitted hoping to earn the spot, but at this point it's likely that no single proposal will ever be chosen. Whoever While a number of the 001 proposals are related had to a lot of time in the their hands. starting of the foundation, just as many of them have nothing to do with the early foundation. There are far more proposals than I'd like to fit in one video, and likely many more to come. So this video will go over a number of the most popular proposals. The highest rated proposal was submitted by Dr. Clef, titled The Gate Guardian. So there's no specific this proposal SCP describes a massive yet. humanoid entity over a thousand feet in height that stands Dang. motionless at a location near the intersection of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Pretty sure it's like the this entity is standing twin tower or something. Gate, through which a pastoral grove can be seen, which include two immense fruit trees. The entity is seen with its head bowed, holding a large sword or knife, and with a number of bright wings emerging from its back. Any entity, living or otherwise, That's that fire. comes within one kilometer of SCP-001 is attacked and obliterated instantly. Oh nah. Additionally, any hostile a action taken against tall. SCP-001 from any distance results in the destruction of the attacker. However, those that directly observe the entity from a safe distance are given a telepathic order that they are compelled to obey. The most common of these is forget, causing the observer to walk away and forget their experience. Notably, the founder of the Foundation was given the directive, Prepare, leading him to start the SCP Foundation. The Foundation mm. has done some minor testing with the entity, but nothing so far has passed the one kilometer barrier. SCP-073 and 076, known as oh, Kane yeah, and Abel, Abel. Yep. both refused yes, to go to the entity, although Kane was ordered to I'm approach, happy I remember that causing some expunged effect and the termination of any further experimentation. Finally, the proposal ends with a transmission that the Foundation received, time-stamped a number of years in the future, discussing SCP-001 leaving its location and an imminent apocalyptic scenario. The entity currently has no containment procedures, although it is constantly monitored. How do you monitor something S. like that? Andrew Swan's proposal, titled The Database, oh, look at that thing. That's 173. showcases a simple and yet meta what answer is that, for the existence bro? of the Foundation and all of the SCPs. In a nutshell, this proposal outlines the concept that the SCP Foundation attempted to look into a grand unifying theory that connects all of the SCPs in their universe to a single origin. In the process, they discovered that their records would often change on a whim, but also that their reality was changing along with it. The reason for this, and the reason why they halted all investigation into the origin theory and expunged practically all of the data, is that they discovered their universe is subject to the omnipotent wills of a group of horror writers. 
To put it plainly, this proposal says that the Foundation discovered that their reality is constantly subject to change based on what the authors of the SCP website decide to write. Okay. To combat this, the O5 Council have prepared a series of memetic agents that would affect viewers of the SCP database, leading to unconscious. Well, what is that on the left, bro? This proposal is one of the more controversial ones due to the extreme meta nature, but it does neatly answer the question of where all the anomalies that one on the, come from. on the left looks so freaky. And SD the one in the middle looks like a good It takes on a Never unique mind. format titled When Day Breaks, alternating between the standard technical writing typical of an SCP entry and a somewhat more traditional storytelling format. The writing is in the second person, starting with detailing how you followed a distress signal into an abandoned Foundation facility while being hunted by some sort of monster. You barricade yourself in a room with a computer terminal and turn it on. Here we are presented with a proper description of SCP-001, which is now the designation that the Foundation assigned to the Sun after an inexplicable event. This event caused light rays from the sun to melt any living organism, including plants, animals, and humans, into a still-living, congealed mass of flesh. Plants can still photosynthesize, Ooh. animals remain sentient, and humans retain some sapience and memory. Oh, no. But when touching, these masses can combine and blend together into large bulk organisms mm -mm. that drag themselves around. Additionally, any anomalous organism loses their anomalous properties when affected by the sun. See the face of a dog there. An estimated 6.8 billion casualties occurred within 24 hours of this event, leaving the Earth an apocalyptic wasteland. Oh no. It's implied that eventually all life on Earth will be a part of a single mass of gelatinous flesh, as those affected seem to desire oh. to bring everything else into the sun's light. The rest of the imagine? proposal goes over some earlier logs of some Foundation personnel attempting to survive the apocalypse, and eventually the reader, you, are dragged out of the facility by the mass and taken into the light. Dr. Mann's proposal, The Spiral Path, is incredibly simple on the surface, merely a circular path in a forest that seems to be continuously uphill. Seems like any of these things could be SCP-001. A fence, some armed guards, and a nearby laboratory make up the basic containment procedures. But an attached document available to new members of the secretive O5 Council provides the full story. The document tells the tale of a physicist named Aaron Siegel, who discovered the anomalous gravel path in 1891. Rather than ignoring it and moving on, Aaron decided to study it finding it to be basically a glitch in our world. From his experiments, he was able to derive new equations, and he began to create inventions based on these new principles, the first of which was a key that could open any lock, SCP-005. I'll see that. in other bright minds to study the path with him, creating the basis for the foundation, but rather than containing the anomalies, they hoped to use them to better the world. One discovery flowed into the next, and although they started small, they began experimenting with humans and creating more elaborate anomalies. Mistakes were also made, with inadvertent creations also coming out of this period, but they kept moving forward, gaining funding from governments and militaries around the world. As the Foundation grew, the original group of researchers continued to create new anomalies, but created the masquerade of having other people find their creations. Wait, so there was creative monsters? The split off, forming groups such as the Church of the Broken God. But the O5s continue to create new anomalies to better understand what they've done. Is that a toaster? The document leaves off by stating that they didn't create... Why'd you get killed by a toaster? By foundation. Some just appeared in containment, and were always in containment. Like many 001 proposals, this one either fits with your headcanon of the Foundation... Or it doesn't. Okay. Jonathan Ball's proposal, Sheaf of Papers, is another simple one that attempts to explain where all of the SCPs come from. The Sheaf of Papers is literally that, a small stack of papers with confidential report on special items, classified, written on the cover page. 
when the cover page is turned over, a new SCP is described. And sometime after reading the report, hmm? the SCP described will be discovered somewhere. The first SCP described was SCP-002, followed by 003, and so on. It's unclear whether or not the sheaf of papers is responsible for creating the SCPs in question, or merely notifying the reader and the discoverer of their existence. Rather than concerning uh, itself okay. with the start of the Foundation, Jorik and Dematic's proposal, 36, more relates to the end of the Foundation. 36 describes 36 individuals of varying ages, genders, and ethnicities. When any anomalous item or phenomena is brought within close proximity of one of these individuals, the anomalous quality is nullified. When multiple members of the 36 are brought together, the range and intensity of this nullifying field is increased. Additionally, when any of the 36 die, multiple anomalous events will occur. Oh along no. With the sudden appearance of varying dangerous entities. Examples include sudden rainfall containing numerous fatal pathogens, massive walking creatures, and spontaneous oh, no. ritualistic cannibalism in a widespread area. Civilian casualties after each of these events are generally tremendous. That is not good. Tens or hundreds of thousands. After the death of one of the 36, they are supposedly reincarnated as newborn babies, although the Foundation has yet to prove this. It's believed that once okay. all 36 individuals are brought together, their nullifying field will reach across the cosmos, removing all anomalous properties from existence and making the world young again. I don't know if that's a good there thing are, or not. There are many other proposals for the SCP-001 slot. Dr. Gear's prototype proposal is simply a dangerous anomalous humanoid and is presented as the very first SCP that the Foundation decided to report on. That just looks like... Kate What's that one? Proposal. That just looked like SCP-096 if he had a cousin or something, like an even more skinnier cousin, like... I like got more hybrid. Like I don't even know. The discovery that anything written in the SCP-001 slot becomes true, and she apparently uses this ability to become God. The Broken God proposal from Twisted Gears and Cactus goes over an incident in Mexico in 1942, when members of the Church of the Broken God attempted to rebuild their god with a false heart, leading to disastrous results. Oh no. Nah. Bright's factory proposal is a story of a grim and deeply mysterious factory that continually creates new SCPs for unknown reasons. As mentioned, okay. some of these certainly deal with explaining the origins of the Foundation, or of SCPs in general, and many others are just immensely powerful or notable SCPs. There's no real guidelines for what constitutes a 001 proposal, and sometimes certain SCPs end up as 001 proposals, even though the author originally wrote it for some other purpose. The actual first SCP written was 173, posted on the mm, paranormal board like 4chan. The, and is so this is like the mascot. Dang, this dang. Written all the way back in 08? January 16, 2008? I was a youngin, bro. I was still running around in my tidy whities playing PS2 back then. <laughs> but, um, dang. So, SCP-173 is, like, the mascot of SCPs. He's the the Mario, the Tracer from Overwatch, the Sonic the Hedgehog, the Kirby of SCPs. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But it's, like, the, it's like the mascot of the SCPs. They call it 173. Currently the highest rated article on the SCP wiki. Okay. The SCP-001 slot is indicative of the SCP universe as a whole, as so many of them contradict with one another, forcing readers to pick and choose what fits their personal headcanon. Mm. I'd encourage you to read a number of them yourself to decide what I'll owe them. you. But only the I don't even know. Council know which of them is the truth. Oh, that's going to be the end of this reaction video. Wait. I 
that's this guy's proposal. Oh, okay, whatever. All right, y'all. That's gonna be the end of this reaction video today. Um, honestly, SCP-001. It seems like there could be any any of them. Any of the SCPs they show in this video could be SCP-001. But out of all of them, I think that's the coolest. It's probably literally the first one. Literally the first one was like the coolest one or the thousand foot uh creature or whatever. But I feel like that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense to be SCP-001. But hey guys, uh type it in the comments down below which SCP you think should be SCP-001. Honestly, I don't know. It could be any one. I think SCP-0. Me personally, I would say SCP-001 should be that one creature the one i said like oh the one that looked like 096 cousin or something like that like the first monster they created or something but i like that one scp where it's like a room that spawns other scps or something like that but the audio cuts out here for some unknown reason at this point in the video but there isn't much to be said all i gotta say is if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get a notification when i post my next video Love you guys. I'm going to see y'all boys tomorrow. This is Bossy. Peace out. I'm off this, bro.